I think for me, as a landscape artist or someone who's informed by the landscape, I walk through it and I try and collect ideas. I can soak it all up. There's only so much you can soak up without that becoming diluted. So at that point, I always rely on a sketchbook. And what I find really nice about the iPad is it's an extension of that. As an artist's tool, it's a digital sketchbook. It allows me to look at a landscape or look at an event in a landscape, make colour notations, make drawn notations. I can photograph things purely for just a little bit of information later on, which I usually only use in, in a structural way. What I do on the course is I encourage people to use it as an artist at all, not as a piece of gimmickry, to use it for drawing. So if the basic information is good, we can then use a series of filters and layers even text to, to convey an environment. That in itself can become the work. Little sketchy idea, very nice for just simple little line, life drawings like this. Again. And just for thinking, really. Here we've got a nice little example of a uh, a portrait, I'll click this little thing here and we can see that develop over, I don't know, over an hour or so. The drawing builds up and this allows us to see how that, how that process came about. Through building, through layering, through using all the available tools. It's quite playful. We can get some nice kind of fun things going, again, which we can sort of take to print and we can incorporate some of these ideas into, into other pieces of work. Nice portrait allows you to kind of get right into a, a personality and really kind of pull up little areas but still in, the, in, a, in a fairly loose way and because I work with the finger it kind of it, it really does allow you quite a lot of dexterity. The drawings that we were making today out in the landscape for me looking at the bridge I've got an idea of the structure there, a little bit of colour notation. I can then start to build that into an idea in the studio. I'd probably start with that and then go back and have another look once the painting had got going so that it became mine, so it didn't become dictated by the possibilities of the programme. What I want to encourage is that the individual finds their own language with it. I want the individual to explore the possibilities, explore the marks they can make to get the results that they want.